What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we're talking about this dude, Trey Lance. For you guys of those who have watched the channel for a while, knows that I have been calling for this dude all the way since the beginning of last season. Like last summer, I was interested in the Washington football team getting this dude, Trey Lance, from North Dakota State University. And one of the big things that draw, drove me to him was 42 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Like, it was like 28 of them throwing and I think 14 on the ground. And, yes, he went to North Dakota State, so he went to a small school. I understand that, but I don't care, okay? Because I think this dude, I mean, he has a great arm. He's super mobile. And to me, this guy, and I've been saying it for a while, can be Russell Wilson 2.0. And that would be massive. Now, what made me think of this, or got got us going, is apparently Lombardi thinks WFT will make a major move for Trey Lance coming up. They, they, he thinks that we will be the next team to go up and get Mr. Trey Lance. And I disagree. Okay. I don't think we are going to make a move. At least, especially not soon. We're going to wait till draft day to make anything. Because we don't know where people are going to fall. And the main thing is, is I don't know where Trey Lance is going to go, period. Because Atlanta wants to move out of their spot. If they wanted a quarterback there, they would just stay put. Then you have Detroit wants to move out of their spot. If they wanted a quarterback, they would just stay put. Panthers obviously made the trade for Sam Darnold. Broncos have Drew Locke. Uh, and everybody else has a quarterback except for the Patriots. And I think the Patriots like either D uh, Davis Mills or Kellen Mond. So I don't think they're desperate for a quarterback, especially with all the talent there. So I think Trey Lance and Mac Jones both could be potentially falling because I don't think Justin, I think Justin Fields is going to go number three. But I see them potentially falling. And we get to scoop up Trey Lance, maybe even at 19. What? What? If we got Trey Lance at 19, I'd be through the roof. Through the roof. Because I've been wanting this guy for so long. We need a starting quarterback. Like a future quarterback, I should say. This guy, he's he's raw. He's not the most NFL ready. Especially not out of the top five quarterbacks, right? He, he came from a smaller school. They had him run a whole lot. He didn't run a whole lot of schemes there. Like, it's not a super pro-style offense. Carson Wentz came from there, so th there is some potential there. But, sit him a year behind Ryan Fitzpatrick and see what he can do in maybe halfway through the year if Ryan Fitzpatrick isn't giving you the record you want. Or, sit him, for a, sit him behind them for a whole year. Pat Mahomes it. Boom. Next year, 2022, you have all your draft picks. You didn't have to sell any, you sell the house for them, just like Ron Rivera talked about in his press conference. He didn't want to sell the house. Like, we want a quarterback, but we don't want to trade the house for him. We want to make sure that we have pieces here for when he gets here. And we would have so many pieces. Oh, my. If we got him at 19, Liam Eichenberg, even if it's not Liam or if it's Walker Little, at 51. Jabril Cox falling there. Maybe even Dylan Moses at 74, whatever we have. Then you have like a luxury pick there at number 81. Who do you want? You want a Tommy Trimble at tight end? Or, uh, you know, maybe another linebacker? Or uh, do you want one of the receivers there to help be a number two receiver? Because you have Curtis Samuel in a slot slash running back kind of flex role. You have Terry McLaurin as your number one. Give another guy with some size and speed. Like, your options are just through the roof if you're able to keep all these picks. Ugh. And then do something crazy and trade Brandon Sheriff for, like, that sec like a mid-second round pick or something like that. Trade Cam Sims for a sixth round pick. There are some options here for the Washington football team. And 
I, it's a, it's, it's not likely. I'm not sitting here saying that we're definitely going to get Trey Lance at number 19. I'm not saying that. I, I'm not sitting here pretending that. I'm just telling, letting you know, there is a path to Trey Lance sitting at 19 because of what Carolina did. There is a chance. Just that's beyond insane. And I hope it gets done. You guys let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also, in the description, there is a Discord link. Hop in our Discord and come talk some football. And last but not least, there is donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. But Lombardi thinks we're going to make a move. I don't think we're going to make a move. But would I be mad if we made a move? Nah, we could make a move. That's fine. I like Trey Lance. Let's go get him if that's what we want to do. But you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, see ya!